Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone. So I haven't made a video in a while and I thought I would make it on a topic that I felt was controversial in a sense. Something that Muslim women come into contact with on a regular basis and it's something that comes from Muslim men. So to start out my story about this topic, I was searching on Google the other day for some sort of decision about a Muslim, um, an Islamic topic and I can't even remember what I was googling at this point. I come across this website and it's called whymuslim.com. So I'm like, okay, this looks like one of those websites where converts talk about things and whatnot. So I go to it because I figured, hey, I'm a convert. I should look at this. I've never heard of it before. But I go to it and I find videos of converts talking about their conversion stories. And, you know, at first I didn't notice that there weren't any women on there, but I found out later that there weren't. And so I emailed the um, contact us link and I said, okay, here I have a conversion video. And when I did this, I was figuring, okay, well, my video could get some more views. Maybe it would be interesting to people who have, con um, who have converted or who are converting. And I figured, you know, why not? And so I sent it in and I get a reply this morning. The best part of this reply is that it deals with what I'd like to call the lower your gaze complex. Okay. So the response from the brother was, you know, it seemed very respectful in a lot of lights. He, you know, welcomed me to Islam. And then he goes and he says that he heard on my video about things that I had talked about. But then he continues to say that he doesn't, he prefers not to upload videos of Muslim sisters because it might be difficult for other men or brothers um, to lower their gaze which turns my body into something that is the property of men's eyes and that they would like to control rather than controlling their own gaze. To further this, he made another, po another two points, which is that I have videos on YouTube where I have makeup on, which I am not wearing today, and that I am not wearing proper hijab, which I think I am wearing today. You can't see my hair, you can't see my neck, and you can't see my wrists. Well, I mean, you can see here, but you can't see my forearms. You can't see anything. <sighs> so I have some issues with this email, of course, as you can probably tell. And, you know, he tells me to further up. He says, inshallah, once you do something special for the sisters, then you are welcome to upload the videos yourself and convey the story of your trip to guidance. Because apparently my current videos are not acceptable. And then he apologizes because he was hesitant to write this to me because I might not understand. And that, you know, I need to get deeper into the religion before I can truly understand because I probably don't understand because I'm new. Okay, well, here's my response, and I apologize if this comes off harsh, and it's not directly aimed at you, but it's directly aimed at the topics that have occurred in this email and that I have touched upon in this email. First of all, I've been a convert for a year. Yes, I need to get deeper into the religion. However, I can understand already where you're coming from because I've already come in contact with this type of ideal. And when you discuss how I need to be deeper into it, I understand that you have not actually listened, listened or watched my video. If you had watched my video slash heard my video, I have been taking classes on Islam since I was 11 years old. Secondly, my mother is Muslim. She has been since I was 11. I have been living and around with and in contact with Muslims since I was in the fourth grade. That was 10 years ago, mind you. So yes, I understand and I'm not ignorant. So please don't treat me like a child and try to belittle me and try to make it sound better for your own sake, because that really speaks a lot of where you're coming from. 
This lower your gaze complex really bothers me for many reasons. And that's because lowering your gaze is on the part of you. You are the one who needs to lower your gaze. I need to lower my gaze around men. Men need to lower their gaze around women. If you feel that you need to control my body and then push it off as something that, oh, I'm not able to control myself. Okay. In America and across the world, you are not going to ever go to a place where women are completely covered head to toe with no face showing. This means it's on your part to control your where your gaze goes. If you cannot do that, it is not my fault. And you have the choice to look where you want to and where you should. That's on your part, not on me. Do not start blaming me for your inability to control where your eyes go. Because you're going to have women who walk towards you, women who walk in front of you, and women who are going to be around you forever. If you would like to go to a place where there are only men, please tell me where you find them. In this world, we're going to come across people in our daily lives, people on the internet, people here, people there, people on Facebook, people on YouTube, people this. You're going to have to figure out how to control yourself because those pictures, these images, and these people are going to show up whether you want them to or not. Because we have women who walk around in crop tops or bikinis or shorts and you want to sexualize that body, these different body parts, but you want to tell a Muslim sister who's already covering her hair and body how to wear her hijab and then it's not correct because you can't lower your gaze or because you are worried about your own self but want to put it onto me. Modesty is on the on a person theirself. I have to choose when how to be modest, if I want to be modest, what level degree of modesty I want to, you know, hold. But you can't rank a woman on her religiosity because of that. If she does not wear hijab and she is wearing loose clothing and everything, I have seen women who wear more modest clothing than myself you know, mashallah, and on a daily basis, but still don't wear hijab because it is a personal choice and you have to be the one to make it. And I've met Muslim women who don't wear hijab or, you know, cover certain areas and whatnot, and that's their own decision. I don't go around telling them to go cover up their bodies because I think they're, you know, walking fit now or something along those lines. That's not my, um, me to do. So... And I don't, I've seen men who wear tank tops and, you know, really shorter shorts and not sunna pants and, you know, but I'm not going to go up to them and be like, brother, your thighs are fitna. I can't lower my gaze if you're going to walk around me. Just like I wouldn't walk up to a, a random non-Muslim person and tell them that as well. Please don't walk near me. I can't control myself around you. You, you wouldn't do that. So please put it on yourself to lower your gaze. Everyone needs to figure out what level of degree of modesty they would like to portray. And that's on their own behalf. And please don't try to make your problem mine. I hope that this video, you know, reaches you all well and that this is something that can continue to be discussed. I understand that my opinion is not everybody's and that I probably didn't word myself as correctly as I would have liked to. You know, at the end of the day, our religion is our own and it's going to be our own decision about, you know, how we get into Jannah, inshallah. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, etc. If you have any questions, please message me. I don't accept marriage requests kindly and I will attempt to respond as quickly as possible, though it usually doesn't happen because I'm not on YouTube all the time checking my stuff. Hopefully it will be soon so I can make more videos, but really appreciate you guys all watching. I really hope that this was somewhat educational, even though it came from a personal background. And love you all for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.